Do you want to overclock your graphics card to get the best performance and push those graphics to the max? Are you sick of long-winded overclocking videos that take forever to get to the point? Want me to freaking stop talking and just show you how to overclock your GPU already? Alright, fine, I will. Pause the video and read the disclaimer, please. Before you overclock, you'll need three things. A GPU, like this RTX 3060 that we'll be using today. A program to do your overclocking. The one we'll be using in this video is MSI Afterburner. Download MSI Afterburner and install it. A benchmark utility to test uh, your overclock settings. The, the one we'll use today is Unreal Valley. Download that and install it. And that's it. We're ready to overclock. Uh, let's get started. Start Unreal Valley running in a window. Make sure VSync is disabled. Press F4 to make the camera stay on one seed and, and make sure you can see the FPS counter in the corner. Start MSI Afterburner. Open up the settings in Afterburner and enable Unlock Voltage Control. Crank the voltage to the max. Save your profile by clicking the Save button and then selecting a number. Now, we're ready to overclock. Let's do the core clock first. Increase the core clock by 20 MHz. Click Apply. Wait 10 seconds. If your benchmark doesn't crash, then great, you can save your profile. Then do it again. Increase by 20 MHz. Apply. Wait. And then save. Keep doing this until your benchmark crashes or freezes. When your benchmark crashes, you now know that you've pushed the clock too far. Go back to the saved profile and click apply. This is now your max core clock. All right, let's do the same thing with the memory. Increase the memory clock. This time we're gonna go in steps of 100 megahertz. Click apply, wait 10 seconds. If the benchmark doesn't crash or show any weird stuff like artifacts or stuttering, great, save your profile, then do it again. Increase by 100 megahertz, apply, wait, and then save. Do that until this happens. When the benchmark crashes or it gets visual glitches, you know you push the memory clock too far. Go back to the saved profile and click apply. Now you just gotta test the game and I'd play for like 10 minutes. If it works fine, it doesn't crash, then awesome. Some tasks put more stress on the GPU, so you might need to lower your clocks if you get crashes while gaming. If this happens, just go back into MSI Afterburner and bump down the core clock by 20 megahertz and the memory clock by 100 megahertz. And then click save and apply and try it again. Uh, how much FPS did we gain? Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Overclocking by RTX 3060 let us go from 98 FPS average up to 110. <laughs> Feeling pretty cool right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's it, you guys. We did it. Yay. Yay. Overclocking your GPU is quick and easy. Sometimes you'll get lots of extra performance, sometimes you only get a little bit. It depends on your GPU. The only way to know is to try it out and see what happens. I hope you found this useful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And let me know what kind of FPS boost you get on your GPU in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Or the thumbs down button if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.